Love how cold it is right now, because now we all have Asian dicks. I went back to Seattle recently. Very tough to be from Seattle, my hometown, because all of my friends have transitioned and now I have to remember two sets of names. <laughs> Zach Vandergrift, everybody. I remember in middle school, they try to guess my race, you know. They deserve that, they deserve these jokes. Try to guess my race, they go, are you mainly Mexican? Or mainly Middle Eastern? Uh, mainly Caucasian. Hispanic and Native American. They go, Native American? What tribe? Uh, these surviving ones? <laughs> what do you want me to say? Windstar? Talha Usman, everybody. There's a guy at work. <laughs> He's trying to convert me to Christianity. Dude got me two books, he got me a Bible. And then the second one read, Seeking Allah but Finding Jesus. <laughs> it was really awkward. I had to explain to the guy that I'm a Hindu. <laughs> you spent all uh, your time doing that Allah joke, that's incredible. That was amazing. Very, very slow. Do you normally uh, start that slow? Generally, yes. Why? Uh, it just kind of gives us the time to settle down a little bit. You know, okay. take a second. More like hen don't. <laughs> take a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what do you do for a living? What call center do you work at? <laughs> Am I correct? What do you do? I do cold calling. <laughs> you really do? I really do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, when, pe God. when people answer the phone, is there like a 30-second pause before you say yeah. anything? <laughs> <laughs> so what ethnicity are you exactly? I'm Pakistani. What is it? I'm Pakistani. Pakistani. Pakistani pa is what white people call it, but you course. call it Pak. Pak. Like Tupac. Like Tupac. <laughs> Tupakistani. Yeah. Have you ever thought about calling it Tupakistani? Uh, <laughs> well, there's a two of us. <laughs> <laughs> on the weekends i like to go out and uh, talk to uh, strangers i'm just like what's going on with you you just walk up to strangers and that's, you say that that's i don't say that i just say hello like a cold call where at where do you do this at uh you know we're at west six east six wherever that's so on sixth street you walk around and you go what's going on with you what's going on with you <laughs> does that work for the most part no <laughs> wow you do that to both girls and boys? Uh, just girls. Just girls? Yeah. Okay. And it works sometimes. Like, the percentage is fairly low, but it has worked. You yes. seem like it you would worked. know the exact percentage. What is that percentage? Yeah, um, so I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Um, maybe two, two and a half. Uh, and then uh, I think I've had about two or three successes here. What's a success? <laughs> success is uh, you uh, approach someone, you talk, you like them, you get their number. Did you say court someone? Approach someone. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe that too. Um, but, uh, and then eventually, you know, they hang out with you and then eventually she invites you back to her place and it's a good situation. Invites you back to her place? Is yes. that what you just said? Wow. What's your living situation <laughs> where you wouldn't take them back to their place? What type of, uh, what type of uh, dwelling do you live in? I got a little studio, um, but before this I was... Uh, with Is it dad. underneath a hospital? Is it... Uh, <laughs> By the way, with that shirt, if I squint really hard, will I see Ringo Starr's face or something? <laughs> Okay. You have any special moves in the bedroom that you do when you uh, when this all goes perfectly well for you? Uh, no. Generally, uh, my special move is to just to pretend like I didn't. Uh, I, I didn't. D. Leave. He's straight. What the fuck are you plugging your ears for? <laughs> you can't just pick and choose. You're 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 homophobic. God damn it! Your character is that you're homophobic. Wait. Why are you plugging your ears for this guy? I want to know. Why? I just didn't want to hear that last part. I'm oh. not to <laughs> Why? It gets Why? nervous, I think. I get, think it gets nervous. I don't nervous. get it. I don't know. I can't. D, D is an interesting, interesting character. You know, you visual people are very interesting, too. Y'all can choose, too. <laughs> oh, shit. He just called us the V word, everybody. <laughs> the visual people. 
Oh my goodness. What type of hate? Should you hear the hatred behind that? He plugs his ears. That's the equivalent to one of you plugging your ears and closing your eyes at the same time. <laughs> like he's like a what? nose plug away from having no fucking idea I, what's I gotta, going I on. I gotta right do now. this right here anyway. So this is the same goddamn thing. You turn around. <laughs> How'd you know I was turned around? Turn That's around. fucking crazy. <laughs> Have you been fooling us this whole fucking time? You think I'm turned around right now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Talha. Wait, I, I had one quick... Uh, there's a game I like to play with the guests sometimes where yeah. um, I ask your last name and then Tony gives you what your nickname was in eighth grade. What was your last name? Usman. What? Usman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your, what's your first name? Talha. Huh? Talha Usman. Maybe uh, go with the first name is a yeah, little easier. Yeah, I think I would go with the first name on that. And what is it again? <laughs> it's uh, Talha Usman. Uh. <laughs> you don't hear a what towel it, head? You don't hear a towel <laughs> head, Goose? <laughs> <laughs> it's Talha. Come on. You got it. I like that. I think I think I think we should reverse the roles. <laughs> I'll ask the name and you do what their nickname was. Has anyone ever called you Talhead Usman? No. Uh, That's amazing. That's actually amazing because it's, it's right, right there. there. It's I waiting. can't believe I didn't fucking think of yeah, it. Yeah, especially I'm I'm not even in eighth grade anymore, and I saw yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> My nickname was uh, Taliban. Ah, uh, that makes uh, sense. That was hot at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. There's Al Qaeda names we could call you, but uh... <laughs> Heath Cordes. I just got off tour this weekend with Tony. Yeah, it was fun. Could have been better. <laughs> Told me we were going to Disney World, but it's fine. Took me on a private plane too, and uh, I think I prefer Delta. <laughs> the jet was nice, but I would have liked coach more than flying in Tony's carry on. <laughs> William, uh, who had an operation on his um, skin skin cancer uh, last week, had a little bit of a problem, had to go back under the knife, wasn't able to make the weekend. And I tried to figure out who would be a great, perfect replacement for him. And uh, I figured, why not give the new guy a short set to get things started? And Heath absolutely took the ball and fucking ran with it. So what were some other highlights of the trip for you? Uh, he taught me how to make a girl squirt That's on the right. plane. What? That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Papa Tony out yeah. here doing the fucking Lord's work. That's right. The, the ladies are clapping. That's right. Would you like to show everybody yeah. what I did? <laughs> 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 and then you speed it up. Yeah. You're gonna have to go faster than that, son. <laughs> Still working on it. The general technique was right. Cam Patterson. Oh, I used the bidet for the first time. I didn't like it. I tried to use the bidet and I couldn't figure out the buttons on it, so I was just doing this for a minute and then. Water just started shooting in my ass. And then it stopped for two minutes. And I couldn't just get up and let the water go everywhere. I was gonna fuck up the bathroom. So the toilet molested me. And this one of those smart AI toilets. I was like, nigga, take the water, nigga. Take the water. Was this the bidet in the green room up there? Wait. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. <laughs> was it today? Nah, it wasn't today. I saw fucking water. There was an um, it, was today. Amount. it was It was. <laughs> it was today. <laughs> it was literally a fucking puddle. And I thought to myself, because I'm like, I, I look at this place as my home too. I thought to myself, I'm like, man, I, I, need, to, I need to mention to somebody that that needs to be cleaned up. 
because I don't want the fucking Kill Tony crew being blamed for anything and to find out that it's you and you're just out here confessing it to the world. <laughs> so you were trying to get up and that's how that water got there and you're like, fuck. The bidet wouldn't fucking stop, bro. It just kept fucking... Why I go for that long, bro? Oh, yeah. Why you need water in your ass for that long? That was, it was a long time, bro. It's amazing. You just gotta let it happen, No, dude. no, the fuck you don't. Oh, it's amazing. I'm a huge bidet guy. Huge. It's it's what goes up my ass. <laughs> a lot of people have wondered, is it dicks? Is it fingers? It's water. That's it. The secret to life. Water. We're made of it. The earth is made of it. Straight up my ass. I love it. Can't get enough of it. I can't yeah. even imagine yeah. how many shits Red yeah, Band can nice. take on a... It gets the corners. Yeah. The corners. He has an octagon for an <laughs> asshole. Are you ready? <laughs> I had a cold water bidet. That one's probably got the heat on it. Yeah. No, I didn't I didn't try to press that button. I think it was like lukewarm or some shit. No, you got lukewarm's heat. Lukewarm's good. Trust that, me. You know warm. when it's cold. I, I disagree. But my asshole's pretty hot after a good dump, and I like the cold water black. It's like getting ass right by a popsicle. It just cools everything <laughs> down. I enjoy that. My name is Layla. Uh, I think the only thing sadder than rape is attempted rape. <laughs> because then not only are you a piece of shit, but you're a failure too. <laughs> I know I sound like a girl that might do eeny, meeny, miny, mo to decide what kind of gas to put in my car. <laughs> And I do. <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up? It's been exactly a year now. Oh, this guy's, this guy's going to jerk off. Look at this fucking guy. Where at? Well, I started exactly a year ago in Austin, last November. Okay. But, so, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I live in Ohio. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. What made you come to Austin to start and then go back to Dayton? Is that where you lived before? Yeah, I was born and raised in Dayton, but uh, I was so scared to do it around people I knew. So I was like, if I come to Austin, I don't know anybody. So if I bomb, it doesn't matter. Hell yeah. And now here you are on the most watched uh, comedy show in the universe. So everybody in Dayton that has the internet can see it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good thing you just realized that now. You know, Tony, I could tell it's 64.9 degrees in this room right now. It literally is 64.9 degrees in the room. I was on at Vulcan when you guys were at Vulcan, and I wore the same tank top but blue, and he made a comment about oh, no. my tits. So. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't, even know, I didn't even know what you were referencing, by the way. I'm so used to you just fucking bombing that I didn't even know you were mentioning her uh, nipples. You are a, a, a blatant sexual harasser, Red Band. And what keeps you in Dayton, Ohio? I work at the Dayton Funny Bone. Wow, what do you do there? I, I serve. Okay. I'm a server. But why... Thank why, you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> why, do you uh, why do you stay in Dayton? Well, that's... Because I don't have a lot of money, and it costs a lot to live here. And I'm not like one of the people that are okay with being in their car. I know Austin is so much cooler than Ohio, but like, I'm getting a lot of opportunity out there. Well, don't you think you would get a lot of opportunity where there's more opportunities? <laughs> Dayton is actually one of the worst places in it, Ohio. It is. It's horrible. Yes, it really is. A lot yeah. of people don't know this. People think Ohio is like a farm city because it sounds like Iowa and shit. Like, it's like people get it confused. Ohio has a lot of major cities, and one of the worst ones, maybe the seventh or eighth best one is Dayton. These opportunities that you're getting, are, do they tend to be mostly from uh, male comedians that want to hang out with you? Well, I like to think it's not, but I, I guess it probably is. Well, I mean, you're funny, so we got that out of the way. Like, at least you have one funny minute. We know that for sure, but... Don't you, like, I'm asking you, when, the, when you get the things that they offer you, these opportunities, do they tend to make a move on you in some kind of way? Yes. And right. I, I've learned that uh, if comics ask, hey, do you want to write? It means like, hey, do you want to fuck? That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Amateurs. Yes. Amateurs. No one just wants to randomly write with people. That also applies to every question a dude asks. Right. <laughs> yes. It's and not in just any, writing. And in any like, industry. Exactly. Yeah. That would... That would happen here too, right? Yeah, 
That would happen. Uh, yeah, that would happen on top of other things. There's just no escaping it, I guess. That's true. That's uh, true. You could buy a coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a, that is that is true. That is indeed. That's how Red Band covers up his tits. So. Very well, easy. I did it. I did it to see if you would make a comment about it. Dude, Got that's me. incredible. Lawsuit incoming. <laughs> Tell us some interesting fun facts about your life or anything like that. Uh, I I can I have weird talents. Like I can talk with my mouth closed. It's not like ventriloquism. My cheeks get puffy. It's something. Let's see it. Absolutely. How many of you want to see that, huh? Uh huh. Whoa, that's amazing. Show. Oh my goodness. Do you have that, a bit about that? that you have incredible. to have a bit about that. That's I've, I've been trying to make a bit about it. I'm not sure exactly how to work it out, though. Can you wow. try, can I just hear you say, don't come in my mouth while you do it? Yeah. Hey, we can meet at a coffee oh. shop and write about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it'll be Red Band's first time writing in eight years, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Can you actually write with Red Band, please? It'll be good for him. <laughs> oh. Have you thought about making any, doing other things in order to make enough money to get out of Dayton, Ohio? Yeah, I actually saved up a couple thousand to move here, uh -huh. but then just so much opportunity in Dayton. <laughs> What type of opportunities are you fucking talking so, about? Just so many guys want to write with her, Tony. Yeah. yeah, what are these opportunities? Well, I actually just got uh, hired to be on a little sketch comedy show. Okay. So... <laughs> Is it called Saturday Night Live? <laughs> no. Right, so what the fuck are you talking about? It's called Slapstick Comedy. It's actually out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, yeah, no Bring one knows us. about oh, it. We're getting Show closer to Cleveland. No, not, not a, not a, <laughs> there you go. Very good. Thank you, Red Band, for the pointless sound effect. Thank you. Look up the fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Slapstick Comedy in Columbus, Ohio. I, I don't think they have anything out yet. So what are you... The fuck? You're, do you, you realize this is like the writing thing, right? Okay, I guess you got They're going to slap their stick against you is what's oh. happening. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, come come be come do some sketch with us. Uh, it's a slapstick. It's a uh, red band. Pull up the fucking thing. God. Oh, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Is the verdict? So there really is nothing on the internet. So you're yeah, starting a sketch group in Dayton, Ohio. All right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to move. You got me. Okay. All right. What are you scared of? Well, I'm afraid because it's going really well in Ohio. I'm afraid it won't. <laughs> Oh my God, all right, so here's the first step. Listen, it's not going that good in Ohio, all right? It's really not. Okay, okay, I'll stop saying that, I'll stop saying that. All right, breaking news, I found slap, slapstick comedy. They have 58 subscribers. Whoa. That's not That's not the thing. It that's is. That's not the right thing. It, 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 is that it? Is. it? Is yeah. that, can you see that? Yeah. No, go back to the fucking uh, main page, Red Band. Yeah. Is that the thing? Yeah, Misha. Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> Misha. 91 Media. views one year ago. <laughs> It is the promo video for Slapstick Comedy. 91 views wow. oh in God. one year. All right, year. you know what? Tony, you're wrong. You're going to have to ride this thing out. <laughs> yeah. It's a no-brainer. You got to see where this is going. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Mo money, eeny, miny, mo problems. You know what I mean? It's an absolute no-brainer. Slapstick. This, this could be the gateway to doing improv in Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> Great Ohio joke. Oh my goodness. Who knows? If you can make it here, you can make it in Chilla Coffee. <laughs> Saintsville. Woo. Wow. My goodness. Wow. How long are you in town for? I'll oh, be, Jesus uh, fucking Christ. You are disgusting. You know that? Filiberto Gomez, everybody. My girlfriend recently cheated on me. She cheated on me in rehab, so I guess she was getting better. <laughs> Just, just better dick. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I should have got suspicious when she would call and talk about AA. She would say things like, things are getting really deep with AA. Things are really opening up with AA. At this point, AA was just code word for African American. <laughs> Hell yeah. He was actually at a wedding that I was in. Um, wow, Amy that and CJ's. is the most Mexican shit a ever. Amy and CJ? 
I was in that already. Yeah, he's just one of my best friends. <laughs> yeah. Even Michael Gonzalez's oh, yeah. mind Shout is out blown Amy right and now. But it's an aggressively orange jacket. It's, it's my lucky jacket because I put the jacket on for the first time and I got on the mothership last night. So I was like, hey, maybe it works. You got on at the open mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in Austin for about eight years, um, but I've only been doing comedy for about a month and a half. A month and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. What a fun weekend for you. Yeah, Up it was a good last weekend. night, randomly at the open mic, that's all random drawn, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. Uh, you got picked out of the bucket here today. Yeah, all Where random. do you think all this good luck is coming from? Um, Wait, did you just wink at me? I think I did. Why, why did you wink at me like I don't that? know. Oh, the guy, Tony, this guy got picked out of two buckets in a row. He's fucking shooting his shot yeah, right now. Bro. He's like, what the no. fuck? <laughs> Was it an accidental wink or was it real? It was like subconscious. I don't know. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, I guess I did. I guess I guess the universe was like, whoop. Look right at you. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're kind of gay? Is that what's happening? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Have you nah. ever done anything with a guy before? Nah, not yet. Right. What's the gayest Dude. thing? What's the gayest thing you've ever done? Uh, ever sit let's on be bit? honest. In middle school, me and my homies used to like jack each other off. Oh. <laughs> Shout out CJ! Shout out CJ, man! That's a lifetime friend, baby. That's what you know. That's what you know, baby. That's what you know. We're real friends. I'm sorry, Amy. Hey, Amy, this is before you met you. This is way before you met you, bro. Hey, you're not best friends until you you, you fucked around with your best friends. <laughs> CJ hey, has dog. seven that's days of life left. That's your dog. <laughs> Wait, you know CJ from the yeah, wedding? Bro. Oh, shit. Wait a second. This is all crazy. This is that's like Mexican best, Jerry best Springer up here. I was in the wedding. I was in the wedding. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. You have CJ's number? She, so CJ's wife is my sister's best friend. I don't... <laughs> Wait, do you have... Hold on. Let, let's see how many... Let, let's see. Dude, call that's your, a, Call him. Dave, hold on. Call your sister. Sister's best friend. Right. Damn. Call your sister... And have her call the best friend. Let's patch him in. This is all gonna happen. We have to get. Yeah. Do you have CJ's number? Put the mic up, Deemer. You got it. Put the mic up there. Yeah. Can you can you send it to me? We have. Uh, Just we have, send it. Can you send it to me? Yeah. Send it to me really quick. Yeah. As soon as you can. These Mexicans never stop Yo. fucking. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Can you yeah. send me CJ's number? Yeah. 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 I think Heath's up there doing the fucking. <laughs> Heath's out there on the loose right now. We got a fucking. Oh my God. El Squirto. Hey, you Text it to me. Right. Hold on. All I'll right, send hold it to you. All right, send it to oh me. Oh my goodness. Okay. We, are, we are so close to, for oh, CJ. Holy shit. Can we bring back the Indian oh, guy for the ultimate cold what? call? <laughs> All right, you got. You know what to do, Michael. Here we go. Right this up is to the Amy. front of that phone. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Kino on the lighting. Filiberto, take a take a half a step uh, this way. Hello. Hi, Amy. This is Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Hey, is CJ around you? <laughs> No, he's at work. He'll be here. Wait, 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 wait. Where did where does CJ work? Minutes. Where did uh? No, <laughs> it's okay. We can bleep it. All right, you're on. You're, uh, <laughs> you're on KT right now. I need. Uh, can you send me CJ's number? Yeah, I'll send you CJ's number. Do okay. you want to write it down? Uh, I'm I'm busy right now. <laughs> I can't write it down. Uh, can you text just text it. it to me? Right. All right, I got it. And here we go. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it up. <laughs> Who wants to be a middle school jerk off guy? <laughs> I'm not gay. All right, now. here we go. This is perfect. You ready? Yes. And we are phoning a friend right now, everybody. <laughs> All right, lower it. <laughs> What's up, CJ? This is Mikey. This is Bree's brother. What's up? How you doing, man? On? Good, good, good. Good, good. All right, so I have, I have, a, I have your homie here, Tune. I got this. All right. Mike, <laughs> tell him, tell him, right, tell him, tell so him he's on with me. So check this out. You're on KT right now. Tony's got a couple questions for you. Well, I'm at work right now. I get off for like in ten minutes. No, 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 ah. no, no. You know what? Uh, yeah, give me the phone, Deemer. Give me the phone. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Okay, so, 
If you answer this question honestly and correctly, I'm going to Venmo you five hundred dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> but if you lie or answer it incorrectly, you get nothing. Do you okay. understand? Yes. So we have pulled out of the bucket your friend Filiberto. Do you remember Filiberto yes. from middle school? Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Got that Kung Fu grip. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm so good. Here is the question. When you were in middle school, you and Filiberto did something to one another. This is your what? chance to win $500 if you answer honestly. What did you and Filiberto do to one another that's kind of naughty that you might not want out in public, but you can get $500 Venmo to your account this evening, right now, if you tell the truth, and now is your time to answer. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> All Middle right. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you four options. All right. We're gonna make this a multiple choice question. The multiple choice options are, did you and Filiberto, when you were in middle school, comb each other's hair, brush each other's teeth, jerk each other off, or make each other breakfast every day for a year? It was uh, brush each other's teeth. <laughs> He hung up. <laughs> That's my boy, bro. That's my lifelong best friend. That's my lifelong best friend. I love that guy. Oh my God. And I am $500 richer. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you know CJ. Is this, is this like a devastating blow for him? I mean, he, he, were, he has a government job. Okay. Uh, all right. Well... It Wait, out. hold on. That shit might get you promoted today. Yeah, that is true. That is That's true. A... He has an open mind and a closed hand. <laughs> no, wow, I, I can't believe he went with we brushed each other's teeth. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Of all the responses, you would think maybe the breakfast every day for a year. I mean, I did kind of like I kind of, I was pretty good at disguising the gave each other hand job. Like, I, like, said it fast and went... Did, it, did anyone else catch the point when Tony went, I'll give you four options, and he went, mm -hmm, make it quick? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he felt the walls closing in on him. <laughs> you know, and save a spot on next week's show for CJ, because he's going to need a job. <laughs> So I'm very excited to be here tonight after having cancer removed from my face twice last week. But I think y'all would like to know the doctor said I may be the best pound for pound cancer fighter he's ever seen. The good news, he said that there's a cure. The bad news, it's cocaine. So I'm back, baby! You have a real sturdy you, look tonight. Thank you so much. Again, I had a 50-50 shot at living or dying before the surgeries. Y'all don't know this, but I had a 50-50 shot. So after I came out on the other side, uh, oh, I you, think I'm going to get into sweaters. So I got this sweater today. I literally got that. I swear to God, life is too fucking short. I'm going to start getting nice fucking sweaters. I was on my death's bed. Tony, I literally saw the light on Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday, that is true. So he had the operation last Tuesday. I get a call on Wednesday saying he couldn't sleep from the pain the night before, and the doctors called back saying that they looked at what they took out and they didn't get all of it, and uh, they had to go back in and do another operation yes. for, uh, for the cancer. They had to get more out of you. So... You uh, weren't able to make it this weekend. Tell us more. So did they put you out for these? Yeah, no, Tony. When I said I saw the light earlier, my heart literally stopped. Redheaded people need more anesthesia. They pump me with too much anesthesia. I do remember hearing doctors kind of yelling off to the side. But yeah, no, I was dead 
I was clinically dead for a couple of minutes, Tony. It seems like they would use a local anesthesia for that. I can no, they literally put me all the see the. Under. I can see the stitches. It's a, about a one inch, uh, inch and a half wound. It was really bad. You should have seen how big the hole they cut out of my face. I mean, Tony, it was brutal. I was on Advil, liquid gels, the whole fucking. <laughs> I love Advil liquid gels now. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah, no, they really held my face. I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk. I was eating SpaghettiOs out the frame. I could not stop eating SpaghettiOs. You were eating and, them out the frame? Yeah, out the frame. I just fucking, I'd pop one can open. I'd be done. I'd be like, oh, I'm sick of this shit. I fucking died for a couple minutes. Nothing is guaranteed. I'd pop open another can fucking eating those motherfuckers out the frame, Tony. I mean, one I, after the other. I, Popping cans of fucking those. Eating Cheerios. I'm into circular foods now. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody.